and welcome back to my channel you guys my name is may and if you're new here thank you so much for joining today is another may's marketing mondays you have just joined the perfect video because i'm about to spill all the tea about starting my degree during a pandemic something you wouldn't expect to kind of go through nothing i expected but let's get straight into the video i am almost at the end of my degree it is currently june 20th we are almost at the end i cannot wait to graduate i'm so excited and i just thought to kind of run you guys through what my thoughts have been and my feelings while studying a master's degree during a global pandemic now i don't know about other people's universities but for my universities majority of our lectures have been online it has been very remote we had a few lectures in person which you could go to if you felt comfortable going to but let me run you through when i started my degree which was september 2020 the pandemic began in march for the uk at least it was when everywhere went into a lockdown and i had submitted my master's degree application in january of 2020 so I obviously had no clue that we were going to be going into a lockdown or that my lectures would start while I am sat in my bedroom. I didn't expect any remote learning, but it has been an interesting transition considering most of my lectures in the past whilst in my undergraduate were all face to face. I think adjusting to online learning has been a bit weird but for me i didn't really mind it i know a few of my colleagues on my course were not too keen on the online learning situation and if i'm totally honest the lecturers they weren't as accessible as they would be in person i think the value of my degree being taught online although it was unprecedented times we had no clue that studying online was about to become a norm I don't think the worth of our degree is worth studying from my property. Unless that money is coming back to me, I just feel like it was a waste of money and I'm being totally honest. The degree was amazing, it is amazing because I am still currently doing my dissertation. I just feel like the value of the degree could have been decreased for students like myself who were self-funding their degrees. Um, I thought, you know, all the resources and the access that we have to things aren't available or readily available. I think the value or the cost of my degree could have been decreased. Um, I don't believe that we had to spend so much on online studying. Um, to be precise, I spent £11,000 on my degree. Um, it is a self-funded degree, so the money coming straight out of my bank account. Oh my gosh, it was $15,000 for one year of study. So imagine self-funding that for yourself. It just is not worth it. I am such a sociable person. I love talking to people. I love being around people. And just being able to have been in person with my group, you know, working on projects and being able to converse, get to know each other in person would have been a dream. Unfortunately, the pandemic was one of the reasons why we were unable to interact face to face and be in person whilst completing projects. I had an amazing group that I really, really wanted to interact with in person whilst doing our project, but the pandemic said no. <laughs> Sometimes sitting at home in a two hour lecture can be so tedious. I had moments where we would sit in a lecture and time just went so slowly. People were unmuting and muting the lecturer. It was just a mess. It was absolutely messy. It was so funny at the same time, but I think just not being able to have that physical interaction with your lecturer, being able to answer questions back and forth. I just did not enjoy sitting in a two hour lecture every single day of the week and not being able to interact with people in person. I did not enjoy doing group work online. I think tone of voice and the way you say things to people can definitely be misconstrued. I've witnessed this in my group um, work as well. Um, two of my course mates were not getting along and you could just tell through the tone of voice that they would you know, respond to each other. It would cause a lot of 
uncomfortable situations or discussions where you'd kind of be able to settle this in person much easier and I think what made it weird was that you don't really know each other as well so we haven't had that ability to get to know each other to understand how each person explains or what they mean in certain situations I definitely say group work was one weird situation that I was not I didn't understand like I just wish we had the opportunity to work on projects in person being able to have easy access to a library was so, so difficult. I didn't know being able to take out a book would be so hard. And with our studies, books are very important. You need a book when writing an assignment, when trying to find out further information. So not being able to have access to books um, really hit home. I think it just it was very difficult being able to access the library as easily. I'm gonna talk about all the things that I did enjoy. So number one for me on the good, on the pro side has to be the supportive network that I managed to create with my colleagues. I feel like I have some great friends and colleagues that I made while studying most of which um, actually happened to be as part of my group work we were able to you know provide each other with any answers to certain questions that we may have that a lecturer may not have necessarily gone over provided each other with just the support and the guidance even though we weren't able to see each other physically we did have whatsapp group chats just checking up on each other making sure everyone's doing well understanding each topic and if we didn't understand we would have be happy to take a call with each other and just guide each other the best way possible um, I think one thing I definitely enjoyed was just how open and kind people were during our studies in terms of my course mates being a very sociable person I personally approached my lecturers as soon as the course began um, I approached my dissertation supervisor as soon as I found out that he was my supervisor so being active and able to make that connection just before um, a lecture or a module begins or if you're starting your dissertation really does help because they put 110% into those people who really want to succeed so like myself I wanted to do the very best I can in this degree I made sure to make those connections with my lecturers um, with my supervisor and to make sure that I was on top of what I was doing um, sometimes you can get a bit sidetracked especially during a pandemic you kind of feel a bit like does this degree really count it does it will count and if you put 110 percent into everything that you do you'll achieve the best that you can what i would suggest is make that connection with your supervisor with your lecturers with your colleagues because it really does help certain departments in your university may have writing courses and that are free as part of your degree they may have dissertation writing courses as well um, i'm not entirely sure if this is a new addition or if it has already been a part of the um, faculties but I would suggest getting in touch with them if you have any concerns about how you're writing um, and whether you're using the right referencing systems um, definitely utilize those um, groups um, and faculties that may be available at your university those are all of my concerns and pros and cons that come with studying during a pandemic so if you enjoyed this video guys thank you so much for watching I'll catch you in the next one don't forget to like this video and click that subscribe button take care bye